Okay guys, it is really hot. <laughs> um, so I am coming to you from Korea. I'm just south of Seoul. Um, it's really humid. Like, oh, I, I... I wish I could forget the humidity, but it's it's pretty darn gross. I'm sweating. You sweat as soon as you get out of the shower. Anyways, so I wanted to kind of make a short little video since I didn't bring my laptop with me, so I can't really edit much. Um, but I wanted to kind of talk about how to beat the heat. Um, so the first thing, first tip I have for beating the heat, of course, is stay hydrated. Um, I don't know how it is in other countries, but I know with Korea, a lot of Korean people don't actually drink that much water. So when you ask for water at a restaurant or something like that, they give you a cup that's like a shot glass. Okay, so you down it in two seconds. Um, and same thing goes for just hanging out with Korean people. It, they tend to go for more like coffee and juice and stuff like that, which is totally fine. But I just... I can't imagine how yellow their pee is. I mean, come on. Um, but anyways... Another tip that I have is to kind of, I guess, just accept it. <laughs> um, there's really not much you can do to get out of the humidity because, I mean, places do have air conditioning and all that stuff. So it is, you do get to kind of escape the heat whenever you go into a building or a business. But the problem with that, I, at least for me, the problem with that is that I go from really humid and gross and feeling all sweaty and disgusting to being inside a building and suddenly being all cold because my sweat cools down and it's just like, ugh, and then I get sick. So I use a fan, um, which blows hot air, so it's not exactly the most ideal situation, but it does kind of help because it at least keeps the air moving. Um, man, you can see my hair's all frizzy. Normally I can blow dry my hair straight and... My hair likes to take on its natural form because of the humidity and the frizziness. <laughs> How attractive. Um, and um, let's see, what else is there to beat the heat? You can just stay indoors, don't move. <laughs> um, I like to explore, so I tend to just walk around and sweat. And I feel like I'm the only one. Carry deodorant. I, it's deodorants, I mean, it's getting easier to find in Korea, but it is kind of hard to find because Koreans don't sweat. So I just feel like I'm the sweaty one who just can't get around without sweating. Um, and I also made a bad decision and wore jeans today, as you can tell, um, which is something I don't recommend. So do not wear jeans, wear shorts, wear leggings, wear tank tops and t-shirts, uh... See, I, I tend to wear longer pants, so like yoga pants and stuff like that, or capris, or and t-shirts, because for me, like, when my skin touches my other skin, I sweat more. So like, if I wore shorts, then the back of my knees would sweat. If I wore tank tops, then my elbows and armpits would sweat. So that's also not a good idea. Um, let's see, what else? Beating the heat, beating the heat. Ooh, another tip is if you have something cold, say like a cold bottle of water or an ice cup or uh, just an ice pack, is to hold it between your wrists. Hold on, let me show you. Hold it between your wrists like this because it does cool you down quite quickly um, because of the, the veins on your wrist. It does get to your heart a little bit faster. At least that's what I learned or heard um but yeah if you just hold it between your wrists give it a few seconds and uh it'll cool you down pretty quickly i usually what i do is i'll take a piece of ice or two pieces of ice and i'll wrap them in a napkin when i'm at a restaurant or something because sometimes restaurants you'll be grilling meat or something and then you have the heat in front of you and you don't want the extra heat um i just take a piece of ice out of my cup or drink and um wrap it up in a napkin and put it on my wrist and I just sit there and people look all confused but hey I'm cool so that's all that matters um sorry that this video is not that well planned I didn't really have any kind of well originally I wanted to do a haul of like Korean fashion and Korean clothing items that I bought including this shirt here um but I decided I was too hot to even bother getting up and getting those clothes and I also just locked myself out because the key pad key fob thingy died or the batteries died I don't know exactly what happened but then out of frustration I just like 
tapped it a few times and then it went through and I got in so I just stood outside and sweat sweated sweated for a few minutes before getting in here and doing this video now and the only reason I'm doing this video is because I'm home alone finally and I am able to speak freely um so this week I will be going to Beijing to meet up with Lisa so we'll have some more videos of us together. I think this coming this next video will be one of us together. It'll probably be the same quality. This is done on my phone so sorry that it isn't HD. I don't know if you want to see me in HD. Hoo hoo HD. Ah, just kidding. Um, and so yeah so stay tuned. We're gonna hopefully have some good videos for you um, if you have any other tips for beating the heat please definitely comment it in the comment section let me know because I could really use some tips because I am from Seattle yes it does get warm in Seattle but it does not get nearly as humid as it does here in Korea or I assume uh, China as well so give me some tips because I could definitely use it all right um, see you next time I hope you enjoyed this somewhat unhelpful video. Um, but see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!